Hey everybody, Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. Let me ask you a question. Are you having a problem right now with your air conditioner inside the house where it's maybe dripping water or flooding the room in there? Or maybe it's not even coming on at all. Well, if that's the case here, your problem is most likely the drain line coming from your air conditioner pan all the way here to outside the house. Now, okay, so right here, you're looking at a healthy output of the drain line. So this is your AC condensation drain line here where it ends up outside your house. Now, if you look here, you're supposed to have a rapid dripping here of many drops in a row, almost like a stream. So I want you to come out and examine the outside of your pipe here. And if it's not dripping water at a good rate like this, chances are that your condensation drain line here is clogged. So in today's video, we're gonna show you two very excellent, quick, powerful, free methods to help you clear out your AC line and get your air conditioner turned right back on again so you can be enjoying nice cold air. And in the process, we're going to save you from having to spend $200 on an air conditioning company to send a repair person out to do the very same thing you're about to do. And it all starts right now. Air is incorrect because this is supposed to be flat and level so that if you have water overfilling from your AC pan, it should come in here and fill up the float, which would... Yeah, see, it's filling up right here. Yeah, yeah and it would, shut up, it would shut off the AC. But what happened is somebody at some point in time turned it up to keep the float switch from tripping, which defeats the whole purpose of the float switch. And at first I was worried that this wasn't sloping downward. It sure didn't look like it, but I put the level on there, and it is. It is sloping downward just a little bit, just barely, is but that's all you need. Way? No, this way. It looks kind of like it, it might be curving up, but it's but it's really not. It is it is on a downward slope there. Now we poured a bunch of water here in the pan to see if it would come running down the pipe, and you can see all it did was fill up right here. So which means we have a blockage somewhere here from here to the outside door, which is basically right outside there. So tip number one to clear the clog out of your air conditioner condensation line. We suggest using a shop vac, vacuum it out. Now make sure you tape it to the pipe here to make sure you get a good seal of vacuum around it. Okay, so what using a vacuum like this does here is these are fairly strong and it puts a pretty good amount of vacuum and suction on that. And it will suck some or most of a pretty good clog that's inside your air conditioner drain line there. Okay, so we make sure that the vacuum is nice and clean. Take the filter off of the top there. We are using aluminum tape here to wrap all the way around the vacuum cleaner hose to seal it perfectly to the pipe all the way around. You don't want to feel any air leaking at all. All of the suction should be applied towards the pipe for maximum vacuum effect on whatever is clogging up the pipe. see you almost have a continuous stream of water coming out now whereas before when we started if you remembered it was dripping slowly like you see on the right side but now you have a steady stream of water coming out on the left there which says to me that that ought to alleviate some of the level of water that's sitting in the pan and the air conditioner right now so you want to give that several minutes and allow the level of the pan to come down and remember this is not perfect folks this will get some of the clog it will not get all of the clog so it'll be like taking your cholesterol from 400 down to 200. You still got work to do, but at least it's enough. And it may be enough to just free the space inside the pipe there and let the water start to draining out. What you need to do is look for that increase in water. If you see more water coming out, that means you've done a pretty good job so far. That means that now the drain pan will start to empty out and all the water will start flowing out of here. And that may be enough to just get you back up and running again, okay? But you still have a little work to do, but at least your air conditioner will come back on now and it won't be flooding all over the floor. Trick number two to clear out your air conditioning drain line here. Use a hose and flush it out. Now this is actually our preferred method of doing it. 
It works pretty good in conjunction with the vacuum method here. Remember, the vacuum method only gets a little bit, enough to just clear the blockage. But once your blockage is cleared, and even if it's not, that's where this hose comes in. So we usually find a way to stick this hose into one of the clean outs up by the air conditioner. Sometimes you can stick it in through your, your side pan there. There's, a, there's always holes somewhere that you can put this in. And we have a hose where we've cut the threads off so that just the rubber will fit into the pipe itself. And all you gotta do is gush it for two or three seconds. You don't leave it on, you just gush it for two or three seconds, enough to clear it. One person is inside the house wrapping the towels around wherever you have the hose going in so that the water doesn't gush out everywhere. And then another person is outside here turning on the water to the hose. So even if you had some water gush inside, it's only gonna be a little bit and you can just mop it right up, no problem. Once you see that it's gushed out, you immediately come out and you will see piles and piles of this gooey, nasty stuff that looks like mucus that's just sitting on the ground right at the pipe there where it came out. And we've already done this three times in the last month of friends' houses, folks. It works perfectly every time. So here you can see where there was blockage in the pipe there that we pulled off of the wall. So we're going to go ahead and flush this one here with a hose. Okay, now I have a dedicated cutoff hose that I've made here. Cleaning out the AC drain pipes. So you see how it's cut off here? We've connected it to the main hose, as you can see, right over there. You can see it bubbling, but you can tell that even with just moderate pressure, it's not enough to clean that out. So we're going to try more pressure. Here it goes. See, it's starting to slowly ooze out of there. Now we have a, a good amount of clean water coming out. And that's essentially what happens inside your drain lines, folks, going from your air conditioner inside the house to the outside of the wall, too, you know, where your drain line disappears into the wall. And you just really can't see it. You can't tell until you either come out here and suction it with a shop vac. What we are also going to do today is we're going to take this same end of this cutoff hose here and insert it in by the air conditioner inside there uh, where there's a clean out and try to get some water to come out this way and make sure that it's nice and cleaned out. If you look here, here's all the gooey stuff. It looks like you can see all that. That's what was inside the line. And that's usually what you find inside your AC drain lines. It just collects up over the years, over the months, which is really why you want to do this and rinse out your lines probably once a year. Okay, now to get inside and look at the pan to see why it's flooding in there, you got to take this panel off first, which is really stupid. Then you have to take these two off here. So they certainly didn't make it easy to get in to inspect the pan on this particular model. Got my nut drivers here. So we'll take our cutoff hose and we can stick it in here and you're not going to quite get it at an angle. We're just, we're not going to put it all the way in and we're only going to gush it for just a little bit, right? See, this is the improper way to do this. You should never do this with a T because you don't want the water going that way. You want the water going this way. Uh, you want to have some type of a bend or a, a Y connection that goes that way, that points your hose that way. All right, so we've got a cloth around uh, the hose right there. And what we're going to do is just start the water gushing for a couple of seconds. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. What did it do? Okay, so when we tried it that time, it a little bit kind of came out this way and back up into the pan. I mean, sometimes that will happen because they put a 90 in here instead of a Y. But we can hear it draining, though. Turkey baster works wonders here, getting some of the gook to come out of the pan there. Look at all the sludge that's coming out of the pipe there, see that? We cleaned out all of the pipes and ran the hose through and got them all pressure cleaned out. You can see it's dripping really good now at a nice good flow rate. Okay, so we reattached the pipe here and 
it's gonna have to be fixed when the new air conditioner guys come in they'll have to repair that corner piece so now the pipe is coming coming back here over the grass I still don't really like the way this is all done and if you can get the water running for several seconds after you've cleared it till you see nothing but clear water gushing out of the bottom of that pipe here on the outside of the house that's how you know you've got a nice clean line and you're going to be perfect from here on in and this is the way you do it folks this is the way this is the way this is the way now when you call the air conditioning repair company to come and repair your clogged air conditioning drain line something because you don't know how to unclog your own air conditioning drain line they're going to employ similar tricks like this uh, some will use a hose with water. Some prefer to use the pressurized air. Well, I hope you found these two tips useful for you. These are great, powerful tips that take only five minutes each, and they'll save you $200 from having an air conditioning company come out for you. And if you found this video useful so far, hey, folks, do us a favor, would you please? Hit that thumbs up button down below. That tells us that you like us. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet with all these great tips and videos and remodeling and tool reviews that we have here for you, man, you're missing out. Click that subscribe button down below right now while it's fresh on your mind. Click the little gray bell icon next to it. That, that tells YouTube to alert you every time we upload a new video. Well, that's it for this week, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in with us today, and we'll see you on the next one.